everyone, and welcome back. Everyone seems to really enjoy the videos I do where I design characters and talk about them, whether it's old OCs or new characters. So today that's what we'll be doing. We're designing a Rainwing Skyring hybrid today, so we'll talk about the art progress and her backstory. Anyways, introducing Cherry. As I said, she's a Rainwing Skywing. She's 11 years old, her favorite color is purple, and she loves fruit. Cherry was hatched in the mountains, in one of the smaller Skywing villages that you can find throughout the Claws of the Cloud mountain range. Her mother is a Skywing named Blood Moon, and her father is a Rainwing named Barry. They met in Jade Mountain Academy when they were younger, and once they graduated, they moved to the mountains together to write about the different birds that made their homes in the peaks and cliffs. So as a dragonette, Cherry spent a lot of time traveling, although they did always return home to their village. Her parents liked to write about the birds they studied, while Cherry would collect feathers, eggs, and bird skulls to help them with their identification. In the lower slopes of the mountains, there were old, abandoned orchards, left behind decades ago. They were rife with wild trees boasting apricots, pears, and cherries, as well as the birds that loved to feast on the tiny fruits and nest in their welcoming branches. Although Blood Moon never developed much of a taste for fruit, Cherry and Barry loved the orchards, so they visited them quite often. Every now and then they visited the rainforest, too, to see Barry's friends and family in the Rainwing Kingdom. When she got a bit older, Cherry's parents asked her if she wanted to attend Jade Mountain Academy as they had, but she turned them down, preferring the lonely beauty of their nomadic mountain lifestyle. Cherry doesn't mind visiting other dragons and settlements, and she loves showing off what they found during their studies, but above all else she treasures the peace and calm of the countryside. Cherry's parents decide to take a few seasons off one year, to write a few scrolls about their findings. They've been making notes on the types and habits of the birds inhabiting the Claws of the Clouds mountains for years now, and now they want to compile those into texts. One will go to Jade Mountain, one set will go to each of their kingdoms, and one set will go to the Great Library in the City of Possibility. So they need to compile their information into scrolls, and they also need to make copies. Prepared for this venture to take a while, they decided to clean out an abandoned stone structure near one of the orchards, to stay in while they worked. This was when Cherry discovered her true passion. While her parents worked, writing and drawing examples, Cherry began experimenting with the fruit in the orchards. It was summer now, but she wanted fruit for the winter when the trees would be bare. First, she learned how to dry fruit, setting aside baskets of apricots and small withered cherries. These she could feed to the birds during the winter, so they wouldn't go hungry. But once she had a store of dried fruit, Cherry wanted to try something else. She wanted to find a way to store the fruit that wouldn't turn it hard and dry, a method that would save the sweet, juicy texture of the fruit she and her father loved. So Cherry tried several ideas, until she discovered a way to store pear slices in jars. The slices stayed soft and tart, and the liquid she stored them in was sweet and thick. After this success, Cherry tried slicing and heating the fruits. This was how she discovered her new favorite thing ever, which she called jam. Cherry made over a dozen jars of cherry jam, which she discovered tasted particularly good on bread. Even Blood Moon admitted to liking the raspberry jam she tried next. And from there, Cherry only found better ways to use the fruit. Visiting the nearest village, she convinced the baker to let her borrow his space, and Cherry tried baking the cherry jam into small, sweet buns. The baker whose kitchen she'd used was blown away with this invention, begging her to teach him how she'd made the thick, sweet red paste. So, during the months her parents spend carefully copying their works and sketching delicate diagrams, Cherry invents jam, and lots of desserts that incorporated sweets. She and the baker, whose name was Alder, grew to be good friends, spending days experimenting with fruit and baked goods to design new treats. Cherry enjoys the calm creativity of baking and working with her precious abandoned orchards, even when her parents deliver their manuscripts and decide to return to their wandering lifestyle, Cherry decides to stay behind and make the stone house and the orchards her home. They still see each other frequently, but Cherry finds a new appreciation for the quiet calm of an easy life and a happy routine. So there's Cherry. She's a very reserved and calm dragon for the most part, but that doesn't mean she can't have fun. Baking is really her passion, though, and finding new ways to use fruit. Pintala doesn't get all the cool inventions after all. Pyrene needs some. Anyhow, you can tell I had a bit of trouble putting Cherry together. I knew what colors I wanted to use, and I vaguely knew I wanted her wings to look like the branches of a tree, but other than that, I didn't have much of a plan going into this. 
I do like how her wings turned out though. I did have some trouble filling in the empty space near the bottom corner until I decided to add some heart shape markings. But I eventually figured out the markings once I'd figured out the wings. I just used the same kind of crooked stripe pattern for the rest of her. The dark cherry reds match really well to those smoky blue grays, and the colors pull together really nicely. She's meant to look like a cherry tree on a mountainside, if that makes sense. Since she's a hybrid, I tried to give her more color variations than most Skywings would have with her red colors. Although she does have some non-Skywing traditional coloring, those scales don't change color. Overall, as far as hybrids go, there's nothing wild about her. She can't use fire like a Skywing, but she can spit venom. So it's a low-key hybrid, but that's good. Simplicity can be a beautiful thing. This was fun to draw, and I've been really into character design lately, so if y'all enjoyed this, let me know, and we'll do more in the future. I've also been told before that people might be interested if I ever decided to do adopts over on DeviantArt, so that may be something I'd try too if anybody's interested. Anyways, let me know in the comments below. Remember to check out the description of this video for links to my DeviantArt, Redbubble, and Patreon. If you enjoyed this, subscribe to see more, share it with your friends, and hit that like button. Thank you so much for watching, and God bless.